All right, today's DOS vlog is going to be about one of my favorite uh, DOS games at the time, One Must Fall 2097. But before I begin, I want to show you the elephant in the room here. If you take a look at, if you take a look below regular game, you're going to see something called network slash modem. Now, what's interesting is that online gaming, as we all know today, is way different from back in the day. Whereas today, you could just find a server or two and then just click on the server, join, done. Here, this was way, 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 way different. In fact, if you take a look right here, you've got not just one, but several options, including modem, which is, with modem play, you can connect with a friend using your PC's modem. So essentially, that means you could, it's kind of like making a phone call, so to speak here, where you would actually enter in your friend's number, and then that, in your computer, would connect to theirs, and if they accepted, they would pick up. It's pretty straightforward. And this one right here, you can connect two computers together with a special serial cable called a null modem cable, and then you and your opponent can compete at high speed. <laughs> well, that last sentence is just a bit of an understatement because way before the internet as we knew today existed, the term high speed usually meant something like 56K or less because back then the technology was way different and internet was really just getting off the ground, even though internet has existed, I believe back either in the 60s, I believe. And it wasn't like what we know today. Back then, if I remember correctly, it was more used for military. And then there's this rare gem of a bulletin board link. Quote, if you have a modem, your local bulletin board may be featuring multiplayer epic challenge arena tournaments. Once again, back in the day, this was another option. This was actually, I think, the black sheep of the group because this is something that just wasn't all that common. And of course, ask around on your favorite BBSs to see if this service is available. If it's not, have the BBS operator email Epic Games at yada yada blah blah blah. We give them everything they need to set up. And of course, there's also IPX, which is Internet Protocol, I believe. Yeah, if your network supports the IPX protocol, you can play with other opponents via network. This one, in my opinion, I believe was the most complicated of setups because you had a lot to do. I don't know the exact details, but I'll save this sort of thing for another day. Alright, so like I said before, this is One Must Fall 2097. One of the few fighting games for PC before games like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and Tekken took over Steam. This was actually, like I said before, one of the few fighting games you could play on the PC. This and Xenophage are the only two that I know of. Now what set this game apart is that you don't just play as a character. Oh, no, no, no. In fact, you get to pick a pilot. These with their own strengths and weaknesses, as you can see with their power, which meant presents how hard they hit, agility, how quickly they move in endurance, how many hits they can take before they go dizzy, or stun as they like to call it. And of course we're going to pick Jean-Paul for this demonstration. Now, this is another interesting concept, because like I said before, not only do you get to pick a pilot, you also have to pick a robot. Key here is that some robots and pilot combinations work better than others. And you have to be kind of, uh, you have to be a little observant to see what works and what doesn't. And so for the sake of this, uh, demonstration, we're going to be using Katana. And of course, so there's a bit of a, uh, dialogue here. Of course, I'm not going to give you too much away because this is not a review. How can you laugh while war continues its experiments? How can you laugh? Yeah, with that stone cold face, I don't know how. How can you say that Nova is evil without knowing what it is? Um, what's he referring to? Is he referring to... Is he referring to Nova or is he referring to evil? Well, it doesn't really matter. Round one. Bye. Now keep in mind, this is on the hardest difficulty. And this is one of the few games that could actually exploit the AI if done correctly. <laughs> Quote unquote correct. A 
another unique feature that this game offered was hazards. As you can see throughout the fight, spikes came in from the background to the foreground. Round two. Fight. Fight. Of course, this game came out after Mortal Kombat did, so this is one example of a game that cashed in on Mortal Kombat's success. And once again, another concept borrowed from Mortal Kombat, as they like to call it, destruction. So with that, it makes one wonder, and I think I did make mention of this in another, uh, it's either a blog or a review that, was 1994 really a bad year for PC games? I mean, I ask. Well, anyways, after each fight, you get a little bit of a, uh, news report from WRDE, or Word, Word. I'm sure John, I sure hope John Paul and Shiro's repair crews didn't plan any parties tonight. With the mediocre performance by John Paul, wow, way to rub salt in an open wound, dude. His katana repair crew will be stuck in the shop as almost as long as his opponents. Yeah, because apparently they're gonna spend partying repairing, I guess. Consider yourself warned. If you have no information, all I need is your defeat. And then after your defeat, I want that information. Round one. Bye. As you can see, once again, exploitation. And keep in mind, this is on the hardest difficulty. So it kind of makes you wonder if AI back then was, what makes you wonder if the AI was much easier to program back then and didn't offer as much in comparison to today's games. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a programmer. Now, what's interesting about the concept behind this is that the better you do, the more praise you get from the reporter. John Paul showed incredible abilities with the katana as Crystal became little more than a punching bag. Kinda sounds like domestic abuse. This one, as well as other outstanding hits, have sent Crystal back to the shop for a while. I think the shop, I think the term back to the shop for a while is a little bit of an understatement. More like to the grave, if you ask me. Your plans cannot succeed. Your enemies are too powerful. You concern yourself. You concern yourself too much with others' business. Round one. Bye. Like I said before, the purpose is not for me to do this perfectly here. This is just commentary and sharing my thoughts. Jeez. 
Or maybe I did this one on purpose. I mean, I don't know. Raven really knows what he's doing out there. Maybe Jean Paul simply has no clue. Regardless, this was a blowout. There were a few lucky shots by Jean Paul, but most of the time the match looked like this. Yeah. Sure, pal, if you say so. Round one. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Shredder is also another one of the robots that can actually be ex you can use to exploit. So I think altogether, I think there's three or four robots that are extremely exploitable. And of course, what's a fighting game without secrets? <clears throat> Spoiler, if you don't want to see it, you may as well switch to another video. But then again, these guys are much tougher than your average opponent. So what's to expect from a secret character, huh? You want them to be pushovers? Oh, one thing I didn't mention is that for a game that was released in 1994, the team did a really good job of rendering the lighting effects around each robot. And of course, you're really going to see that in the next fight, provided I can, I can get to it. I mean, of course, if you look at it today, it's not that impressive, but back then, something like this was not common. Again, going back to exploitation. Now imagine doing this to a friend. He'd probably be so pissed at you, he would never speak to you again. But I digress.
you have no possibility of winning. We'll just have to find out. Round one. Fight. Fight. And in the arena tonight, Christian gave Jean-Paul a run for his money, but came a few thousand credits short. Christian held in there for a while, but Jean-Paul simply outperformed him with moves like this. Of you, I know nothing. Well, you will soon find out my cause. But then again, even if you didn't know something, it wouldn't make sense anyways. So I'm sorry, I'm not going to waste my time with your mediocrity. And besides, your three-pound brain couldn't probably handle that information anyways. Whoa, this challenger meant business tonight. Jump out could show the old pros a thing or two about that katana. Check this action out. This is how Angel looked the whole match, beaten, bruised, and bewildered. Once again, kind of sounds like domestic abuse. I was born to rule this company. Seems my idea of faith and yours are about to clash. You know, I... I uh, something about this whole thing just kind of disturbs me. I mean... This kind of reminds me of that movie, um... What's that movie, um... It's where 80 people are locked up in a building, and they're basically implanted with a device. I'm just trying to think of that movie name. I know what it is. Anyways, yeah, 80 people are locked in a building, and there's a device in their heads, and there's an, a, and over the PA, this guy's like, okay, you have to kill two people within one hour, otherwise 16 people will die. This is what, this is what this game kind of reminds me about. Fighting amongst your employees just to gain rule of a company. Fight. The Belko Experiment, that's what it is. That's the movie I was thinking of. Yeah, because that's what it reminds me of a little bit. Even if, they, even if they do things differently. Except the difference is, is that these guys don't have devices in their heads. They're just fighting with uh, giant mechanical robots. A less graphic way of uh, settling disputes, I guess.
Now that time I wasn't successful in getting the scrap in there, or rather the destruction, but that's okay. All you arena junkies out there got a pretty good show at the stadium. Milano fought with skill, but not enough to pulp put down John Paul's hulking katana. Hey, maybe next time, Milano. Hey, maybe next time I'll learn to fight, dude. I have no respect for you. And your respect is the least of my worries, Pud. What exactly is Pud, anyways? I mean, I know, unless he was meant to say Bud or something, I mean, I just find that word kind of out of place. Pud. Huh. Well, anyways. For all you folks that enjoyed an evenly matched battle, I hope you didn't pay for the match at the stadium. Because you can order it on pay-per-view! But for all you who like the occasional one-sided masochistic pouncing, then watch out for Jean Paul. That sentence in itself just sounds kind of derogatory, but I digress. Krysak won't let you live. Quit now. My involvement is not your concern. Only time will tell, my friend. Round one. Oh, that's something I should mention is that uh, since I defeated the two secret characters in the previous bout, the floor is actually the floor doesn't spew fireballs anymore, which is another unique uh, change when you play this game. We're talking about slowly draining the life out of your opponent. That was boring. And the irony baffles me that it's in the same place too, so maybe I just have Or maybe I did this intentionally. I don't know. Whew. Avery, I'm really torn to the Jean Paul. Jean Paul should probably take that katana back to the training field. All I can say to Jean Paul is to get some practice. That katana won't win without your help. Well it I mean of course if Avery wasn't a little uh wasn't a little uh a little chicken, uh, he would be singing a different tune. Jesus Christ. 
Well, like I said before, beating the game is not the priority for these DOS blogs. Round two. I mean, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm not going to complain. Jean-Paul was looking good this evening. His katana left the scene with only a few scars from his overmatched opponent. Abraham showed some pretty pathetic fighting skills, and Jean-Paul took advantage of him. Just look at this hit. So I guess that practice paid off after all. Good luck. Luck? If I were lucky, I wouldn't be in this chair. Spoiler alert, she's paralyzed from the waist down. John Paul and Cassette were evenly matched. The gargoyle Cassette will spend some time in the shot tonight. The two fought practically blow for blow until Jean Paul finally nailed Cassette with this well timed shot. Or was it just luck? Well, I would love to finish this, but unfortunately I am out of time here. So, with that, thanks to everyone listening, and I will see everyone next time. <laughs>